Hello everyone. Today we are discussing a very easy topic for the NEET exams that is the classification of dentition. Anytime uh, for making a paper difficult, they can ask such topics where people usually ignore such topics, but we have to concentrate on each and every point given in this slide. So let's begin the classification of the dentition. So dentition is basically classified based on the number of the sets of the dentition. So throughout life, how many times a dentition has come? So accordingly, there is monophyodont, diphyodont and polyphyodont. Mono as the name itself suggests is single or one. Di means two and poly means multiple. So monophyodont is one set of dentition. Followed by diphyodont, we have got two sets of dentition throughout the human life. So humans come under the category of the diophont. They have a primary dentition followed by a permanent dentition. So they come under the, under the category of diphyodont. Then comes the polyphyodont. They, these have multiple sets of dentition. That is more than two sets of dentition. So they, they are called polyphyodonts. Then comes the classification based on the type of teeth. What kind of teeth they have. So we have the homodont teeth and the heterodont teeth. Homo means same, similar. So all teeth here are same in the morphology or shape. Whereas in hetero means different, different types. So different types of teeth are present, more than one type of teeth in a dentition example incisors they have a different shape canine they have a different shape molars have a different shape so human teeth come under the category of heterodont and they have two sets of dentition so they come under the category of diphyodont this is how we can classify a dentition based on the number of set of a dentition and based on the type of the teeth the other point on which we'll discuss or differentiate or classify dentition is the cuspal arrangement so we have got four different types of cuspal arrangement, four types on which we will classify the dentition, four types of cuspal arrangement. First one is the haplodont, second is the trichodont, triconodont, third is the tritubercular teeth. Fourth one is the quadritubercular teeth. So the term itself has a meaning which will help you to remember it. Haplodont means single cusp tooth. Example is a canine. It has a single cusp. So it is known as a haplodont teeth. Then comes the triconodont. According to the cuspal, we are, we are looking for the cuspal arrangement. So single cusp like canine is haplodont. Then comes triconodont. Tri itself means three. So three conical cusps. Now there are two terminologies which are similar. How will you differentiate? This is a triconodont and there is a tritubercular teeth. Triconodont where the three conical cusps are arranged in a row like this. So this is a triconodont in a single row. The teeth are arranged in a single row. Example of such teeth are found in dogs. Whereas tri-tubercular teeth, they are arranged in a triangle. So such arrangements we can see in the maxillary molars in the human beings. So they are again three cusps, but they are arranged in a triangular pattern. So they are known as tri-tubercular teeth. Fourth one is a quadritubercular teeth. That is quadri means four. So four cusp is formed and an occlusal contact relationship between the upper and the lower jaw is established. Example is the mandibular molar. Here you can see. If you see occlusally, we have got three cusp and a palatal or the lingual cusp. So we have got total four cusp which are arranged in a manner that they will occlude occlude with the opposite arch. 
so such kind of arrangement you will see in the quadratubular teeth an example is a mandibular molars in the human beings the other point on which we can classify a dentation is based on the attachment quotient of the teeth how is the teeth attached to the surroundings so we are classified they have classified the attachment of teeth in three categories namely number 1 is the acrodont number 2 is the bunodont and number 3 is the thecodont acrodont is the no root or the rootless teeth so here you won't find root only crown is present rootless or crown has cartilages attachment and the attachment of the crown with the jaw bone is through cartilage example is frog so acrodont is rootless and cartilage attachment is there of the crown which is portion that is attached through cartilage example acrodont is found in frogs here the tooth is attached to the crest of the bone via the cartilage remember that second type of tooth is a bunodont bunodont has roots so roots are present in this case but the attachment here is via ankylosis they are ankylosed completely attached like in cats primates like cats and dogs so here the mode of attachment for the tooth to the surrounding structure is ankylosis the third one is the thecodont now this is an important category because human teeth are a type of thecodont teeth here the attachment of the root is via the intervening layer they are not ankylosed they there is a layer present between the tooth and the surrounding jaw structures like periodontal ligament and it does not undergo significant changes so such teeth are called as thecodont and the example is the human teeth they are the type of thecodont teeth let's have a look on the meritors prep facts which will help you to have an edge in the exams haplodont remember this term it is seen in rep reptiles like crocodiles they are the simplest cone form of teeth with single root they have a single root and they are the simplest cone form they are seen in reptiles and only one kind of movement is possible in haplodont teeth that is the hinge movement of jaw hinge movement what do you understand it is only a closing and opening movement in one in around one fulcrum so only closing or opening will happen so this kind of movement is seen in the haplodont teeth then comes pleurodont teeth pleurodont teeth are attached to the inner margin of the bone this remember the attachment for a pleurodont teeth is the inner margin of the bone then is the gomphosis this you might have heard gomphosis is a word used where the tooth is attached to the bony socket so bony socket is present inside that tooth is present for that gomphosis is the word used through the periodontal membrane which allows limited movement it allows some movement more than hinge movement but it is limited due to the present of the periodontal membrane and bony socket but the word is gomphosis where bony socket is present and tooth is attached through a membrane called the periodontal membrane moving forward to the frequently asked questions from the topic of classification of dentition we are talking about the dentition and development of the tooth because of lobes so minimum how many lobes are required that is also frequently asked question i'll discuss later let's look at that this question premolars develop from how many lobes so here one lobe you rule out by elimination one lobe no third three lobes no four lobes and five lobes now they have not mentioned which premolar for a safer side we'll go with the four lobes but there is an exception here that sec mandibular second premolar is the only teeth among the premolars that is developed from five lobes but here on the safer side we'll go with the four lobes because mandibular first premolar and the other premolars are developed from the four lobes so answer here is four lobes 
the next question which is frequently asked is about the dentition scheme so mark the word the dentition scheme with three cusps in a triangle so if you remember from the lecture which i have taken about the classification of dentition i have already mentioned that when there is three cusps the word used is tri and the arrangement here is in triangular form so look at the options rule out from the options haplodont no it is a single cusp tooth trichodont tritubular here both the options have tri so these both are three cusps but we also have the arrangement of the cusp that is in the triangular form now in the case of trichodont which is the second option the arrangement is in a single row like this whereas in tritubercular the arrangement is in the triangular form as in the maxillary molars so the answer for this question is from b and c and the right one is the triangular form is tritubercular c and the d that is quadri so this is four cusp arrangement so this is not the correct answer this is how if you know all the options in detail you will get to the answer easily the other question which is frequently asked is about teeth found in human beings from the classification of dentition what are uh, the new terminologies which we have learned for the human dentition so the rule out the option haplodont this is a cone shaped single tooth which is most common found in the reptiles so this is not found in human beings triconodont now this is three cusp tooth but in a row like in dogs and cats so this is not found in human beings both a and b this cannot be the answer because haplodont also is ruled out triconodont is also ruled out now we are left with the option d quadritubular that is four four cusp tooth arranged in a manner that it will form an occlusion with the opposite tooth like in the mandibular molars in the human teeth so the answer the teeth found in human beings are it is obvious answer is d quadritubular this is how you can rule out from the options available to get to the answer